Hi guys, what we're going to be doing here is a, a, a video uh, that everyone's been looking forward to actually been messaging me a lot about. Um, it's of the new AWS um, uh, ECU or Stealth MOSFET. Um, basically it's an internal MOSFET that goes inside the gearbox to replace the mechanical trigger switch assembly with uh, a little tiny electronic switch just on the front there. So obviously the trigger just touches that and activates the circuit. Um, the benefit of it is obviously because it's uh, electronic switches it activates and deactivates a hell of a lot quicker. Um, there's no way for anything to get out of position uh, and then catch and jam um, and obviously it's uh, um, you know got MOSFETs and stuff built on there so um, so it's actually um, it's actually weird because you would normally fit a MOSFET to stop arcing that sort of thing uh, but in this case it's the MOSFETs are just on there solely for you know handling power uh, and um, you know obviously speeding up uh, speeding up rate of fire and um, and trigger response um, yeah basically it gets rid of a lot of problems uh, because there's no way for you know the the mechanical switch to be in the wrong position there's no way for it to jam in singles um, so you know potentially people running DMRs might appreciate this sort of thing um, especially on version 2 DMRs um, you know running like single only because um, you can avoid the lockups on that um, and other people you know running like lower power batteries um, you're going to get less chance of jams um, or no chance of jams with this thing so um, uh, yeah just just overall uh, an up-to-date replacement of the old uh, trigger blocks so I'll just demonstrate this one to you this one's uh, just on an 8.4 volt battery uh, GMP gearbox so otherwise standard uh, apart from a, a Kenzan high torque motor in there see how you can just spam away without any sort of fear of you know normally uh, with normal AEGs in order for the trigger block system to work it has to be all the way to the back in order for the cutoff lever to di properly disconnect it whereas you don't have to have that kind of discipline with this you can you can do half trigger pulls like with the PTW and the actual unit itself finishes the finishes the circuit for you so you just ever so slightly and you still you can't jam it whereas if you tried to do this sort of thing with a normal mechanical switch block you would potentially have a, a half trigger pull um, and obviously you know you have chance of a jam that sort of thing with um, old school trigger blocks you have to you have to you have to have trigger discipline and go all the way to the back with AEGs everybody everybody's always taught that and you obviously often see uh, you know newbies not going all the way to the back and trying to trying to fire like a real gun and, and, and you know Spam the trigger and then they get jams and stuff, but obviously this unit completely gets rid of that. See how I can do absolutely anything with this trigger. And it just keeps firing. And obviously this is on the lowest power battery you know there is. So we didn't get any jams there. As you can see, nice and fast in the trigger response. Um, reliable, which is great, which is what we want. So basically removing the old mechanical and you know getting something that's just much more up to date and much more reliable. Uh, what I'll do is put the 7.4 volt on here, a small one. Just so you see what LiPo's are like on it, because there's a lot of people moving to them nowadays. Single is a little bit more nippy compared to the 8.4. Uh, obviously, rate of fire is a little bit improved as well over the 8.4, as you'd expect. Um, and then the extreme, a rather large 11.1 uh, volt, just so you can see it in operation. So, uh, I mean, this is a test video after all. As I say, standard GMP gearbox, but with a Kanzan high torque. Um, hopefully that's answered your questions about obviously the new uh, AWS Stealth Fets. Um, 
you know we're the, the, we're going to be stocking them on the website for about 55 pounds. Um, you know we, uh, we, we we're we're an authorised fitter and distributor of them. Um, we'll be on their website and everything. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking forward to them because. Yeah, you know, we're, we're all about push, not not just pushing boundaries, but basically taking ourselves to that next level. And you know, making, getting rid of parts that fail is a prime goal for me. Um, and you know, moving towards this is just basically removing a lot of inherent problems with the with the gearboxes. Um, you know, I think this is the this is the future. Plus, uh, when space is an issue, um, like front wire installations, that sort of thing, um, you know, fitting large MOSFETs in the back uh, is going to be um, you know, it takes up a lot of space. What could be used for batteries, that sort of thing. Uh, stock tubes, same thing. You know, if you've if you've got a stock stock tube MOSFET and a stock tube LiPo, you know, you're taking up a lot of space there. It could be used for a larger LiPo. Um, so this thing, obviously, you know, putting the MOSFET into the actual gearbox itself gives you a lot of extra room. Now, I think they're a, I think they're a fantastic thing, and this is exactly what you get. Uh, plus uh, an extra Dean's connector and a little bit of wiring, and literally you can see there, you just take the old one out, just put the little screw there, pop it in the gearbox, and then that is it. So, it's a, I think it's a genius bit of kit. So, cool. Hopefully that's answered a lot of questions, uh, and at least you get to see it now in operation. Cool. Cheers.